this video is about solving a initial value problem using Laplace transform. While the initial value problem of ordinary differential equation whether it's first order or second order can be solved by using the solution for ODE. So how to solve that using the differentiation and integration you can find that out by the videos given in the description but if if you want to solve that using Laplace transform then there's a specific method the problem will be usually given in the time domain so if you're having a problem which is for example is y double dash plus 3y dash plus 2y is equal to e raised to minus of three t so this is a problem which is to be solved Now the question is, this is in time domain. Now when you are using, when you, so you will have to convert it to Laplace or S domain. So you can convert that by applying a, the Laplace to this whole function. So when you will apply it will be something like Laplace of y double dash plus Laplace of 3 y dash plus 2 y is equal to Laplace of e raised to minus 3t so this is your equation if I am saying this is my question and this is my first equation so based on the previous lecture if you would have gone through then the Laplace of a differentiation can be given as the Laplace of function f dash can be given as or f of t can be given as is equal to s square into Laplace of function f minus s of f of 0 minus f dash of 0 so this we have derived in the last lecture and Laplace of f function f dash can be given as s of Laplace of f function minus f of 0 so where f is a function of t so this is a Laplace of a function y which if you if you would substitute y here then this will become Laplace of y so this can be written as by applying this it can be written as s square of if I am saying that this is my function of Laplace of f or function of uh, Laplace of y is equal to y of s
because if suppose if my if, if, if this is a notation which I will be using suppose if you are having a Laplace of 1 then the answer will be equal to 1 upon s where my y is equal to 1 here so this whatever is the answer I will get this whole thing will be in something of y of s that is a function in in s so this is what is my y of s is all about so this is what is my Laplace of f is so whatever I am getting I can say that it is a function of s so if I'm saying this as a function of s plus or minus of s of y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus 3 into s y of s minus y of 0 plus 2 into y of s so again I have applied this and I have applied this and on the other side you will get 1 upon s plus 3 so when I am equating this what is my initial condition for this is y of 0 is equal to 0 and y dash of 0 is equal to 0 so these are my initial condition So when I am applying the initial condition which is given with the question what I will get is s square and if I put take all the terms with ys together then I will get s square plus 3s plus 2 y of s is equal to 1 upon s plus 3. So this will can be written as y of s is equal to 1 upon s plus 3 into s square plus 3s plus 2 so this is what I am getting by solving the Laplace of the ordinary differential equation so so what I got as my y of s was equal to 1 upon 1 upon s plus 3 into s square plus 2s or s square plus 2 3s plus 2 so now to find out my f of t Uh, to find out my y of t which is equal to my solution I have to take so this was my first step was getting the function in terms of or uh, solving the ordinary differential equation to get a function y s or to get for uh, the whole function in terms of the s domain now you will have to get the y transfer or the y the answer in the y domain so you'll have to convert it from s to y and to do that you'll have to take the Laplace inverse of y of s so you'll have to take the Laplace inverse or the inverse of the whole function which is 1 upon s plus 3 into s square plus 3s plus 2 so when I am solving this it's possible to simplify this in such a way uh, by using partial fractions that I will get 1 upon s plus 3 into if I will solve this which equation in b square plus 2ab plus c so what I will get is uh, s plus 2 into s plus 1 so again this can be written as to simplify this it can be written it can be written as s plus 3 minus of s plus 2 
divided by s plus 3 into s plus 2 into s plus 1 so what this will be equal to is this will be equal to when I am dividing it it will be equal to 1 upon s plus 2 into s plus 1 minus 1 upon s plus 3 into s plus 1 again I can simplify this further in such a way that I will get s plus 2 minus s plus 1 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 1 and minus of 1 by 2 into s plus 3 minus x plus 1 so and s plus 3 into x plus 1 so this is equal to what is my 1 upon s plus 1 minus of 1 upon s plus 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 upon if I am taking this writing this here 1 upon s plus 1 into minus of 1 upon s plus 3 so this is what I am getting after solving this so now I will have to apply Laplace to this Laplace inverse of this whole thing so if I am writing it again then whatever I have got is something like this so my y of s has been simplified as 1 upon s plus 1 minus 1 upon s plus 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 upon s plus 1 minus 1 upon x s plus 2 x plus 3 so now I have to take L inverse of y of s so 1 upon s plus a Laplace inverse of a function of 1 upon s plus a can be written as e raised to minus a t so applying the same thing this will be e raised to minus t minus of e raised to minus 2t minus half of e raised to minus t minus of e raised to minus 3t so this whole thing will be equated as you can plus this and or equate these two and you will get half of e raised to minus t minus of e raised to minus 2t plus half of e raised to minus 3t so this is your Laplace inverse of y of s and this is equal to y of t which is a required solution of a second order ordinary differential equation which was non-homogeneous and also which was non-homogeneous and also linear which was solved using transfer to Laplace domain 
or S domain and it was solved using the Laplace transform. So this is how you can use the Laplace transform to solve a ordinary differential equation or ODE with initial value problem.